at the end of this tutorial, you will be able to do transparent textures and transparent texture patterns. As an example, I have took this speaker model. In this speaker model, as you can see, I have a hexagonal pattern going on here. To replicate the same effect in Substance Painter, we need to have a transparent shader and a opacity channel. To do that, I am going to click on the shaders tab and then I am going to select a PBR alpha, PBR alpha blending material. And then I am going to click on the texture set settings. Then I am going to click on the plus icon. Here I will enable opacity. I am going to create a new fill layer. And then I am going to choose a random color. Here uh, you need to make sure that opacity channel is enabled. And then, and then I'm going to scroll down a bit. Then I'm going to check my opacity shaders are working or not. See, we are already getting some transparent effect like this. Now we are going to uh, going to create a pattern hexagonal pattern like this. To do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to mask out my mesh first. Now I'm going for the procedural tab. And then I will uh, start typing hexagon. As you can see right now, my pattern is matching with this hexagonal shape. So I am going to click on the fill layer and then I am going to drag this pattern to my opacity channel. Now I am going to increase it tile completely. As you can see right now, it's inverted. What's happening here is the borders are completely transparent and the holes are completely visible. To fix this issue, I'm going to click on the invert button. And then I don't want these dots to be here. So I'm going to decrease the dot scale. Also, I'm going to increase the width to match my reference. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to increase, uh, increase the UV scale also to match the reference. Also, I'm changing the color to the for completely white and then going to play with uh, some roughness. If you decrease the roughness, you are going to get some nice looking reflections. As you can see, our pattern is completely ready. In the next step, we are going to export this texture. To export the textures, I am going to click on file menu. Then I am going to choose export textures. Here I am going to click on the output templates. Now I am going to click on PBR metal roughness. Now we need to duplicate this preset and then I am going to create a gray output map here. Now what, for, what I am going to do is I am going to copy the other text from here and then I am going to paste it on here. Here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the emissive and then rename it to opacity. After that, I will drag this opacity to this grayscale channel. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose the, the preset just I have created and then I'm going to click on the uh, output directory and also making sure that uh, it is in right folder. And my texture size is also 4K. It's ready to export. Hey guys, this is Dave from CG Dave Animation. Before you guys leave, I just have a small message for you guys that if the video was really helpful, then please go ahead and give a like and also do subscribe to our channel. So till then, stay creative and keep learning.